Hey guys, how are you doing? Nice to see you again. Um, today I have for you a new series that I have created because uh, many of my friends and my students ask me sometimes Hey, how did you learn this language? Or can you help me? Or um, do you have any idea how I can do this and this? And because I speak a couple languages <laughs> um, and I have some ideas, some tricks, some methods um, that work for me or for my students so I thought that I could actually create this uh, video um, series for you guys so that I can maybe give you some new ideas or uh, different ideas but most importantly the things that work for me that I believe that are cool that um, I believe that can help uh, you as well so I will be talking not only about the methods how to learn new vocabulary but I like to mention uh, the whole approach, uh, the whole uh, process of learning the language, uh, the things that we should not forget about or uh, maybe some ideas that can do like oh maybe I should switch the way I see the, my uh, learning of Czech or any other language you're learning. And last thing, those videos will be in English, uh, but if you'd like to contribute with uh, Czech subtitles uh, or any other uh, language, so I'd be very happy and you can follow the link below. So now I hope that you understand what I'm gonna do. <laughs> those videos will be short and let's start with the first uh, tip. First, very important thing I like to mention about learning Czech or learning language is listening. You need to listen, 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 listen a lot. Listening to me is crucial. Why? Uh, there are two, two, three things for me. So firstly, imagine that you have learned those cool, uh, great sentences or words that you would like to tell to your friends or the family of your fiancé. Uh, but you, in order to, to tell it, to react, so at first you need to understand what they are saying. And if you don't understand what they are saying, because you're not used to be listening to the language, so you are not able to say your cool sentences. So you need to be get you need to get used to uh, be listening to hearing how the the language sounds. Uh, for example. Uh, you know the sentence, I'm uh, in Prague, jsem v Praze. Uh, when you write it, it's you jsem v Praze. But no one says you jsem v Praze. You will hear jsem v Praze. And you need to get used to the sound of jsem v Praze, jsem v Praze, jsem v Praze in order to understand it. So the language, of course, it's cool to read it, to learn the, the written language, but you need to be able to recognize the differences between the written and the, the spoken language. And then the, the second thing is that, to me, when I'm learning a language, the, the most important thing is input. I need a lot, a lot of input uh, to be able to produce the language later on. I'm just not able, you know, to, to create a sentence or to speak Arabic like that out of nowhere. I need to get it from somewhere, I need to hear it, see it, or I need the, the, the input at first. So, as you know, I'm learning Arabic, so I'll be talking about Arabic a lot, because this is a great example. Uh, and when I started, or when I already knew Arabic, like the Arabic alphabet, and I was able to speak, you know, to say three words. So I immediately wanted to speak more, I just wanted to be able, you know, to communicate uh, from the very beginning. So I was forcing myself to speak, I was making videos, but it's, it was so long, it took me 10 minutes to create one sentence. And this is so time consuming and so frustrating. So I switched, I stopped forcing myself to speak and instead I started to listen and to watch a uh, Pig. <laughs> Uh, in Arabic. Beside, by the way, you can uh, you can watch Peppa Pig, Prasadko Peppa in Czech as well. It's really great. It's simple, and you will understand everything. Um, I assure you. 
But what I want to say is that when you have this input, when you listen, when you listen to things, the sentences many times, you get the input, you get already the language in some chunks. And then when you would like to produce it later on, you don't have to think about the structure, about the rules that you have learned. For example, you would like to say that you were at the post office. Byla jsem na poště. So you know, pošta is uh, the post office, it's feminine, it's a public uh, public place or public administration place. So you will not use the preposition in, v, you will use na. Uh, then it's a locative case because <laughs> you are there, you are not going to the post office, you are at the post office. So you need to say locative case. The locative case for pošta uh, is poště because it's it's ending with the consonant <laughs> like v obchodě uh, and then you have this na poště at the post office and you add the past tense byla jsem na poště with the second position rule uh, sem at the second position so you have byla jsem na poště and it took me only five minutes to create my sentence <laughs> so this is the reason why uh, we sp the, we are not able to speak fast as well because we are thinking as adults about too many grammar rules and it's just it prevents us from normal communication um, so the benefits of listening is that you just get this na poště. Byla jsem na poště. You hear it na poště or můj kamarád byl na poště. When you hear it like 20, 50 times, then you don't have to think about it. You will say just na poště all the time, uh, which is actually called uh, that you're acquiring the language. We don't call it learning. We call it acquiring the language. Uh, uh, if you're interested in Stephen Krashen's method or Stephen Krashen's view on acquiring the language, so check his videos on YouTube. It's 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 just great. <laughs> and um, so this is the first benefit that you don't have to think about the grammar because you have you, you have the pattern. You you heard it so many times. And then the second benefit is that you get this. Uh, passive vocabulary you get the whole a lot of words that you know passively which is natural it's normal in your mother tongue you in Czech so in I'm Czech and in my mother tongue I'm able uh, to like actively produce about five to ten thousand words this is my active vocabulary and then the passive one, it's up to 50,000 words, which means I'm able to understand about 50,000 words, but I, I, I can use this 5,000 and I can get by perfectly. So you need to understand, you need to get this huge passive vocabulary list somewhere here of the words, uh, which is natural in your mother tongue. So it should be natural, it should be normal in your target language as well. So those are the two benefits that you get from listening. And I believe really listening is crucial. It's important. We shouldn't be, we shouldn't be trying to produce immediately. It will come naturally later on. Of course, you don't have to agree with me. There are so many ways how to see the language learning or acquiring. There are so many methods, ideas, and Everyone can just, you know, you can pick up what you what you agree with, what you like. So that's it. <laughs> that's from the, uh, the first video, the, the first video from the series about ideas, uh, how to learn a language. I hope that you like it. Uh, if you did, so share it with your friends or share it with people who are trying <laughs> hard, who are learning my mother tongue. And uh, krásný den, have a great day and I'm really happy to, I'm really excited about seeing you very soon on YouTube. Tak, ciao!